Hi everyone. In this video, I'll be installing Manjaro Linux on my computer. I currently have Windows 11 installed on my single drive and will be installing Manjaro in a dual boot setup. A minimum 4GB USB drive is required and I have a 64GB USB drive where I will put the Manjaro Linux ISO on. So on my 128GB hard drive here, I'm going to shrink the C drive by 25GB to put Manjaro Linux on it. So I'm going to put in 25600 megabytes. All right, so there's now 25 gigabytes unallocated. And now I'm going to download Manjaro Linux. And you go to manjaro.org and go to download. And it's going to be x86, 64-bit. So there are three official images, Plasma, XFSC, and GNOME. Both Plasma and GNOME look nice and are more modern, whereas XFSC is known to be lightweight and uses less resources. I prefer simplicity, so I'm going to pick this one. And once it's finished downloading, I'm going to download Rufus. So then I can put the Manjaro ISO Linux on my USB drive. I'm going to download the portable version. And once they're downloaded, just open up Rufus. And my USB drive is selected. I'm going to select my Manjaro ISO. OK, and I'm going to hit Start. And I'm getting a message here to set another program or process is accessing the drive. I still want to format it, so yes. OK. All right, now it's completed. So now I'm going to reboot and boot from the USB drive. All right, and you get the screen when it boots up. And so I'm going to boot with open source drivers. OK, so it's booted up. And you get the welcome screen here. And I'm just going to hit Launch Installer. It's asking for the language, American English. Next. And it's asking you to pick your time zone. Next. And my keyboard. Next. And here I'm going to be doing manual partitioning. Next. So there's my 25 gigabytes of free space. And I'm going to create a new EFI partition for Manjaro Linux. And this one's going to be 500 megabytes. And this one's going to be FAT32. And this is going to be a separate EFI partition just for Manjaro Linux. And the boot flag has to be checked off. Hit OK. Go back to the free space. Create. And I'm going to do 15 gigabytes for root. File system is ext4, and the mount point will be slash. OK. And going back to free space, create. And the remaining space will be used for slash home, the user directory. So ext4, file system, and the mount points slash home. OK. So I got the new partitions, new EFI partition, slash, and slash home. Next. And here it's asking for your username. I'm going to put in a password. So I'm going to be the only user. So I'm going to use the same password for the administrator account. So I'm going to check it off. Next. And here it's asking for an Office Suite. So you can pick no Office Suite or Libra or free. So I'm going to pick Libra Office. Next. And here is just summarizing the changes that are, are going to be done. And I'm going to hit Install. Install now. And you can click on the icon at the bottom right. And then you can see the logs. So it's finished installing, and I'm going to restart. All right, so it's rebooted, and Grub comes up. Manjaro Linux is here, and also as well as the Windows Boot Manager. So I'm going to Manjaro Linux. Log in. Close the welcome screen. All right, so Manjaro Linux boots up properly, and I'm going to just go into Reboot and go back into Windows just to make sure everything's OK. Windows Boot Manager. All right, Windows comes up, so that's it. That's how you can install Manjaro Linux in a dual boot setup. I hope this video was useful, and I thank you for watching. Bye now.